If you're looking for a trusted and reliable source of news and information, check out my friends over at PatriotPost.us. A link for them will be in the description box. So when you go over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I come to you from Virginia. As you can see by the background, I'm in a different location. I'm out here for a conference, but let's get into the story of the day, and that is about an individual by the name of Hassan Piker. Now, this person apparently is a Twitch video game streamer. I'm not sure how popular or not they are over on Twitch, but that's a different story. And for now, I digress. He is also a political commentator of sorts. But most importantly, he is Chink from the Young Turks' nephew. And I think he also is Turkish. He came to America when he was like 10 or so years old. But we'll move on from that. He was on Twitch commenting on the podcast between Joe Rogan and Dan Crenshaw. Joe Rogan has a Joe Rogan experience, a humongous podcast, probably the biggest podcast on the internet, if not one of the top. And Dan Crenshaw is a very popular congressman. He was injured over in Afghanistan during a war and he lost his eye. He was almost totally blind, but after a few surgeries, he was able to regain his vision just in one eye, but lost the other. Now, what he said, Hassan Piker, that is, about the clip between Joe Rogan and Dan Crenshaw was disgusting. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip. In that clip, you'll see what he said and part in the foul language because there is plenty of that. I'll try to cut out pieces when I can, but you'll see what he said. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what he said, give you my two cents, and then I wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Soft power is the exact same as hard power. Soft power, embassies, diplomacy, exact same thing as military bases. I'm, I can't do this. I can't do this. This guy has the understanding of foreign policy uh, of like a 12 year old what the f what the f is wrong with this dude didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some mujahideen a brave soldier f his eye hole with their dick isn't that how he lost his f dumbass eye america deserved 9 11 dude f it i'm saying it we're there to partner with them we're not there doing our own thing we're there partnering and training In a video and, and, and game and, and enhancing their capabilities so that that's part of what we're doing the, and the other part is just knowledge we want to know what's happening like Okay, so you heard that, you saw what he said, you heard what he said. Now, this was ridiculous. Totally insane, and it lets you in on the mind of the crazy leftists because Hassan Piker is obviously a leftist. There's no denying that. He doesn't make any kind of, uh, you know, bones about it. He's not trying to hide it. He is a stomp down leftist. You can be that, and that's okay. I'm not concerned about you being on the left. That's your prerogative to do so, but don't be an extremist. Don't say that America deserved 9-11. You're talking about innocent people, men and women, possibly children, and others who have died since then and that died right when it happened. We just had an officer in New York Police Department die recently because he had cancer due to searching through a bunch of toxic waste trying to find remains of survivors. You know, so this has been an ongoing thing Thousands of people died. It affected a lot of people. People lost their loved ones in the whole situation. Hassan Piker, in my humble opinion, is one of these guys who tries to be edgy, just a little bit too edgy. And he went way over the top this time. Okay, it's, it's pretty clear that that is the case. But this is what happens. You, you try to shoot for the moon and you try to just go above and beyond yourself and then you wind up just being totally ridiculous. It's not any surprise that he went and did this. Now... You try to like clean it up talking about, oh, well, America's foreign policy. And I'll place those tweets on the screen before you. America's foreign policy dictated this. That's why it happened this, that, and the third. But see, that's a far cry from saying America deserved it. Okay. You can say that America has bad foreign policy and that may have led up to it, even though that wouldn't necessarily be correct either. You could criticize America's foreign policy. You could say that we should not be interventionists in foreign wars or we shouldn't get involved in any kind of way or both or anything like that when they're talking about policy we're talking about lawmakers and the things they do that put us in bad situations you could say that but don't say america deserved it okay 
what do the innocent people that were on the plane and that died afterwards as a result of the attack how are they responsible for what the country does you see what i'm saying we're, we're trying to get people in there that can do right people that are going to abide by our wishes as the american people now if somebody in there that's corrupt or they're doing things that are not in our best interest that's their fault you can't blame the innocent people that died because of what another person did because of their actions because of the government it's like this whole thing reparations you're talking about oh well you know white people got to pay it it's like how are they responsible you know they nobody was alive during slavery how are you going to hold a person accountable that was not even there that had no real say in the matter you see what i'm saying so that's the whole situation here now this pretty much should tell you the ideology of many on the left they'll, they'll try to hide it sometimes they won't really tell you all the way they'll try to like sneak around it and you know be real double talky and this that and the third they'll try to do that but every now and again you get them in a very honest moment okay you, you'll get them there just like the whole thing with abortion when us as conservatives people that are pro-life when we say life begins at conception and it should be no abortion. I'm not going to say all people that are conservative believe that, but that's what I believe. There should be no abortion at all because it starts at conception. That's when life begins. Now, those that are going to be so-called pro-choice will say, oh, well, the fetus can't survive outside the womb at 18 weeks, 19 weeks, this, that, and the third. I'm like, okay, well, at what point is that baby a baby? So if it can't survive in the womb past whatever kind of weeks, is not a human being at that particular point in time all oh, this clump of cells is that in the third you know they'll, they'll try to say that there should be a certain number of weeks in which there should be no more abortion or you know like there should be a cut off but really if you get them in the honest situation they'll say you can kill the baby up until nine months that's the reality i've heard them say that which is why you have certain laws that were trying to be passed that said you can have an abortion up until nine months because of mental duress or physical duress. You know, if it's life of the mother or something like that, you can have an abortion. But also, if it's about just you don't feel good today, you feel stressed, you feel bummed out, you feel sad, you want to go ahead and do that to yourself. All right. That is what they actually believe if you get them in a space by themselves. All right. And they're, they're crazy with it. They'll pass a law that says you can abort your baby up until nine months. They'll pass that law. And then when you say, hey, wait a minute, maybe there shouldn't be an abortion that late. They'll say, oh, nobody would ever do that. Well, if that's the case, then why pass the law? See how they talk? They're double talking. So what Hassan Piker, again, changed from the Young Turks nephew, what he said here is the mind of many on the left about many that hate America. That's what it is. They don't really want to tell you that. And then when they're confronted on it, they'll back up, they'll run away, they'll try to get past it. That is the truth of the whole situation. Okay, so don't let anybody tell you anything different. That's what's going on. Shout out to Dan Crenshaw for being an American, putting his life on the line for us. I'm glad that he's here with us. I don't agree with all those political policies, you know, talking about red flag laws, this, that, and the third. I'm not really a fan of that. But I respect him for what he was been able to do for our country as an American citizen. And that's pretty much all I got. What say you? Do you think that Hassan Piker, Chink from the Young Turks nephew, the Twitch video game streamer, the political analyst, was he correct in what he said on Twitch about Dan Crenshaw? How about the United States? I mean, some things that he was saying were just really vulgar. It's unnecessary talking about his injury to his eye. You know, things like that are just not needed. It's what keeps the left in kind of a perpetual state of childhood, in my humble opinion. Not really able to cope with the reality of what's happening in the world. That's just how I see it, but maybe I'm wrong. How do you feel about his comments about U.S. foreign policy? Is it our policy that led to the events of 9-11? And if that's the case, do you think that people that died in that situation deserved to die? I don't think anybody really believed that. And if they did believe it, they wouldn't say it out in public. We just caught him saying it in public what he said in public is what many people believe privately but whatever your comments are please let me know in the comments below and that's all i gotta say for this video if you like what you heard please comment rate share and subscribe peace
Thank <laughs> you.